almost don't even know if I want to mess with it right now. At least not right now. We haven't done any of these in a while. And I'm rusty and I, I can already foresee that it is not going to go well. I'm assuming it's not going to want to snap because that would just be too easy and nothing is easy in settlement building. Oh, hi there. My name is Wifey Well, but you may call me Wifey, and today we're back playing some more of Fallout 4. In the last building episode, we have been working here on this beautiful blue home. We've got it refloored, resilined. <laughs> For lack of a better term, rewalled, redoored, rebedded, we just re everything here at this home. And um, we ended it with running out of time to get the electricity properly set up. As you can see, one bulb is lit, one is not, so we're going to be continuing with that. Um, also, as a bit of a side note, if you only watch the building episodes and not the questing episodes, um, I may have just accidentally blew out your eardrums, and if so, you let me know that I owe you a new one. But, um, I have found a way to increase the volume of my videos. They're going to be much louder from now on, as that's something I've always heard from people, is that my videos are quiet. So, I took the time to do some super intense research, and figured out a way to push my video volume past the quote-unquote safe level in my editing software. And yeah. So far I've heard positive feedback on it, but I know it may have been a shock for you if you were watching these in order. Just the building episodes, I mean. So right now I'm just putting in some really simple electricity. I'm comfortable with these power conduits. They're easy, they're, they're discreet and small. They radiate power. Um, I can wire glitch them pretty easily if I need to. Like, for example, I'm gonna have to right here. Um, but let me put down a few more. I'm gonna need one probably right there, and then one... Let's see, where's the front door? Um... Well, I don't want it... I mean, it might be able to go there. I don't think I like that, actually. I'll place it up there. I'm getting all these placed down, um, kind of like permanent electricity for this place. That generator's not staying there, but until I figure out how exactly I want the generators to be in sanctuary, this is what we're rolling with. That is really no better than what I had just done, but I think it blends enough maybe um with these power py pylons here i can get all of this permanent and then hooked up to a power pylon and then just work from here but i am going to have to be doing the wire glitch like i said so i'm going to have the wire itself highlighted and well let me show so here at the power conduit the space bar down there says attach wire highlight the wire and you notice that spacebar goes away, but keep in mind what button it is. So I try and point toward this tip here at this power um, conduit. Hit space, even though it doesn't say to. Did you hear that? I now have a magical invisible wire. And then, da 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 da, because as you can see, that's not supposed to work. That would have definitely been a red wire. Only thing is, it's so close to the roof. I don't know. I don't know if I can get this wire to highlight now from here. Okay, that works. So I imagine this one will have to be bugged too. Yeah, it's barely going through. So here to 
here. Here to... Ugh, okay, hold on. Do it again. Gotta get the wire highlighted. Space. No, not a real wire. Do not want a real wire. The key is to make sure your little green dot, your center pointer, the actual word is escaping me right now. It's not actually on the wire nor the conduit. Let me try from this wire. There we go. And when I meant on the conduit, I meant highlighting the conduit. Clearly there, it was just slightly over the conduit and it worked. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, you get it down. It's very easy. What is the issue with this one? I don't know. I can have four wires attached to this, no? Well... Okay. I really don't get what the issue was with that one, but sure. And this one we're obviously going to have to glitch as there is an actual object in the way. Uh... Huzzah! I just- I- I drilled a hole, a magical hole through this. It- it works, okay. It just works. So... All of this should be up and powered. No. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, I'm just comfortable with these. I'm sure there's much more efficient ways to do it, and I may have even went overkill with them, but... I just feel like they blend in with the environment so well, they're so discreet. So the reason I wanted this here is because I had an idea since we've last built and it's, to me it's cute, but I was thinking since we're building a bunch of actual like homes, it would be cute to put house numbers on here and I wanted those to be neon. So I wanted to make sure the power would reach that because I'm not quite sure on how far the invisible power radiates from those conduits. I wish there was a way to kind of see it, but... So power... Neon... Oh, what color? Let's see... Looks like all the homes are blue and yellow. So... Red would probably pop pretty well. Ooh, purple might be nice. So with the house and numbers, I'm not even really sure how I want to do them. Um, but probably the easiest thing is to do single digits and starting from the gate, I guess. So this would be one. Or should I do one side of the street should be odds and one side should be even. Hmm. So what, one, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, well eight, and then maybe nine? Or should I do one, three, five? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just worry about the even side for now. So, two, four, six, this would be house six, yeah. I don't know, to me it just makes it feel a little more cozy, a little cute. Halls and numbers. I feel like they're normally... I mean, I don't think it matters, but I feel like they're normally on the right side. I could do it maybe above the door, glitch it in. But I don't know if every door... No, let's just put it on the wall. Let's just put it on the wall. Before I create an issue. Oh, that looks so cute. And it's pretty bright. I feel like, you know, if you're a male man, it's pretty visible, I think, in the apocalypse. Um, on my second channel, where I play a lot of cozy games, I bring up my great-grandmother a lot, who is 93. She turned 93 in March. And she was actually a male woman for a very long time for the town. 
So you got to make sure your numbers are visible. Don't make a mill man or mill woman's job harder. All these fun traps. Not for the mill man, though. <laughs> I'm just getting sidetracked. Um, okay, so house number and we need to add maybe some lights? Because there's lights here, but they obviously don't work. This light I have at my art gallery at Starlight. Ah, why am I shaking? My character's just shaking in rage. Why am I shaking? Quit shaking. There we go. Ooh, we should do street lamps too. I need to put, let me put down like one of each. So that I can begin thinking about how I may want that to be. So there's this light, which I, to me feels like an indoor light. Mmm. And this is kind of nice because it's kind of... Yeah, I like the metal. It kind of matches the whole shack, run-down, patchy, scrappy vibe, you know? There's the neon wall light. What is this? Oh, that is neat, but it's, it's too cool. It's too fancy for what I want. Um, not a lot of picks. Well, I like these enough. Let's just go with these. So... Maybe... Uh, like, right there. And then right... There? No, that's that one's too high. There? Are those evenish? Let's see. I think this one's too high now. Um, now I think it's too low. This is ridiculous. I feel like this is like, um, those jokes that you've seen. Or those reenactments where people try to even up their eyebrows and then there's no eyebrow left and they're like, okay, it's even. I know that's a very, very specific comparison, but I might just say that's good because we're about to be without eyebrows if I keep it up. Good enough. No, it's not. It's driving me. I'm sorry. I have... I, I, I have an obsession. Maybe like there. Now it's, I think, still the same. What, you're telling me this isn't the content you signed up for? You didn't want to watch me adjust the same quote-unquote fancy wall light ten times? Well, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. I think it's still a little off, but it's good enough. I'll, I'll, I will live with it, okay? I will spare you guys the pain and the suffering. So, as for decor, I have not been too uh, eager to decorate these homes yet as I'm waiting to get the rest of the custom creation club content no new sets have gone on sale at least not any that i still need and i still need like five or six that come with furniture and decor and such so i don't want to i don't want to decorate until then so i'm kind of like skipping that right now so to say um we got the power going in here i do know that there is this whole 
in the ceiling in this room, which I was extremely sad to see. It's like just barely a gap right here. And whoever's on this top bunk is going to get rained on. I was thinking about chucking baby Sean up here because I don't know. <laughs> just chucking him like a football. Um, obviously joking, but even if I wasn't joking, Sean, he's bigger now. He's not chuckable. It's not going to work. And this is eventually going to be an office, so no one will be chucked up here. But um, regardless of what this room is, I'm going to have to do something about this hole. And I did get told um, a suggestion of snapping a half piece on and seeing if it does it, which... I'm assuming it's not going to want to snap because that would just be too easy and nothing is easy in settlement building, but I will see. So I think I used the upper floor, this one. Yeah, that looks right. And I, they're going this way with the slats, the wood. So it's green here. I mean, I could probably glitch one in, but it's certainly not snapping. <sighs> Almost don't even know if I want to mess with it right now. At least not right now, because it's our first time. It, you know, it's we haven't done any of these in a while, and I'm rusty, and I I can already foresee that it is not going to go well. Okay, I jumped off the roof and took a nap because, like I said, I, I already know that's going to be an issue. So, um, one thing I want to do since I kind of brought it up was I want to maybe put in some street lights. Just kind of bring this place to life a bit. I think that might be one of the easiest ways to do that. And, um, I guess first I need to decide which lamps I'm going to be using. Um might need to space these out so I can get a good fill on how much light they actually emit. That might be okay. Um, power. And I guess we'll just throw down a bunch of small little generators. Oh, I'm very close to leveling up. Nice. So I'm just going to be testing the... where's the connector? Testing all these. Um, I don't think I spread these out enough. Okay, so these are our options. We've got the circular street lights, which looks like what already was installed. Of course, these are all broken. So they might fit that original sanctuary vibe. Interesting. Um, I'm thinking maybe they all emit just about the same amount of light. Um, it's, it's a little hard to tell. Let me get off my light. It's also hard with the donut shop right there. Maybe I should have done this somewhere else. So it looks like this is, you know, emitting it in a nice circle all around. Uh, as is this one, I would say. Pretty, pretty good amount. This one, I feel like, is, it, you know, obviously it's reaching a little more forward from the location. Like this one is lighting up the street more so. And do we want the street lit up? Hmm. Of course, these won't be here. I know I'm kind of I'm kind of like meandering over this in my head. These would all be like here anyway. So the street would be, you know, partially uh lit up. I guess let me figure that out. Should have put them where they're actually going to be. 
and then we'll decide actually yeah this might go too far forward now with the lighting well it's okay hmm I'm also thinking like right now a lot of the buildings are a bit shorter but I do have some secret plans I've been thinking of to maybe adding a second story to this building or even a third one and making it several businesses stacked um, just because with me repurposing these homes into homes I, I, I kind of want like this big business right here this big attraction uh, and the donut shop will just stay at the bottom because I'm not I'm not redoing it but Anyway, that's for another time. <sighs> that lights up the sidewalk as well. That lights up the sidewalk. This lights up the sidewalk a little bit. Not as much as this. Okay, so I'm thinking... I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward this one. But is this the light I used at Starlight? I honestly can't remember. These, the vibes are better on this one. On this, I just like the style. I like this detail here. So maybe... Um... Hmm. I think for the sake of it's still feeling like Sanctuary, I'm gonna use these. Um, I think these might be better suited for a build where I, like Starlight, you know, it's like big industrial, commercial, and this really feels like, with all the homes, more residential, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, should I just place lamps willy-nilly wherever I want? I know I want some out here. Uh, I have to find them again. Okay. Uh, I want this sign lit up, you know? That'll be beautiful absolutely wonderful and then i am thinking of building like a gated entrance here um and just fencing in the whole sanctuary i can't remember if i mentioned the whole fencing in but i think i want it to be like gated and protected and just have all the best fills i need I need to decide where I am going to do all that electricity. This is like a big working zone here in the water, so maybe I throw it all. Although this is the water, this is like the front of the place. Um, do I want it to look fancy and welcoming or like intimidating and serious and busy? I don't know. And I do want this to all be kind of kept open and possibly be a bigger gardening area because this little baby gardening area I have back here, I just don't know if it's going to cut it. Hmm. So for the electric, the electricity, there is this spot here, which I could utilize it's not in the center of town but it it sprawl out better than if it was all there at the very front <laughs> hi brahmin where's your mommy oh she's right here she was blending in she's kind of got that mama murphy uh swag and just stance to her which if you haven't been watching my questing videos look mama murphy has been cured of her issue and she's able to work now and i think i do have some plans for her as well but i'm going to keep those a secret for now uh yeah you know what i'm looking and these other spaces 
aren't going to be efficient enough for a bunch of power. So I think that might be where I put all the power. Interesting. So we'll just throw down like a hundred generators. <laughs> and um, start connecting them to lights and then connect the lights to everything. It'll be swell. Oops. I... I, uh, oops. I moved that bed out to look at this hole again, I think, during the cut. And I forgot to move it back. Oops. So Sturgis is up there. He ended up being my person that got chucked up there. Well, sorry Sturgis. I guess that that is going to have to go ahead and be... It for this one. I'm sorry this ending part was kind of more talking than doing. I just I'm trying to get things situated how I want and really plan out the build rather than just doing things all willy-nilly as um I don't want and you know I probably could just put one of these bad boys down. I have to recheck my notes. One of these hold on one and let me check my notes. I'm flipping through my notes. One of these is bugged and will just disappear. And you don't want to use these kind of resources and it disappear. Um, do not use the vault tech generator. So none of these. Use this one. Okay. Oh, I need rank 4 science, which I'm waiting on a level up for. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Well, now that kind of puts a kink in all those plans that I just planned out because rank four of science is, let's see, I'm about to be level 42. Which one of these is science? Level 28, intelligence six. Oh, well, I'll just, I'll get that then. I, one, two, three, yeah. Okay, I'll just take that rank when I'll level up. I can throw a few things down. And we'll do that and um, be good. So yeah, never mind. That's what we're going to do. We're going to set up power. And it'll be hopefully swimming. I haven't put one of these down yet, obviously. But it's too bad these are bugging out. They just look so cool. But that's fine. We'll get it figured out. I'm going to quit rambling. Um, so as always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I will see you again very soon. Bye.